Today on The Daily Dose, the Spanish flu of 1918. Nearly everyone, at least once in their life, has experienced an infectious episode of common influenza. Flu symptoms include headaches, nausea, fever and chills, muscle ache, general malaise and sinus congestion. Known simply as the flu, influenza is a recurrent infectious disease caused by RNA viruses of the orthomyxoviridae family of viral pathogens. Known as Spanish flu or la gripa, In 1918, three waves of H1N1 spread throughout the world at a staggering pace. The majority of those afflicted by La Grippa recovered fully, but in some patients the disease worsened to pneumonia, against which modern medicine at the time had no viable defense. Victims of this lethal stage of infection developed a bluish cast to their faces, which would ultimately turn purple or brown. Once a victim's feet turned black, Death was generally only hours away. Spanish flu invaded cities across the globe in an almost random fashion, hopscotching around the world without apparent logic or predictable demographic progression. Boston, Massachusetts. Freetown in Sierra Leone. Brest, France. In San Francisco, over 3,500 pneumonia cases were admitted to area hospitals, with over 900 fatalities. Everywhere in the United States, public gatherings were banned. Schools, theaters, churches, and businesses were shut down by public decree. Nearly everyone wore face masks, yet nothing seemed to arrest the spread of influenza. Considered the greatest single most demographic shock that mankind has ever experienced, in two years that Spanish flu ravaged the earth, one-fifth of the world's population became infected with an estimated mortality of 50 to 100 million lives. In one devastating year, Spanish flu killed more people than Hitler, nuclear weapons, and all worldwide terrorist attacks combined. In the end, despite frantic efforts to unlock its etiology and devise an effective cure, Spanish flu disappeared from the human landscape as quickly as it had arrived. And there you have it, the Spanish flu of 1918, today on The Daily Dose.